What's up, beautiful people? This is Wild Card Wednesday, a series where we look at all the National League contenders spotting for that wild card spot. Right now, right tied with us at 68 and 53 are the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks are almost as hot as us. It's unbelievable they can't lose due to some unlikely heroes and Jake McCarthy. McCarthy's batting 444 in the last two weeks. Did walk off the Rockies last night. Corbin Carroll's actually picked up the pace as well, batting 255, respectable with some really, really clutch hitting times as well. Ryan Nelson has been their best pitcher the last two weeks. He's spotting a 4.38 ERA. But the Diamondbacks look scary, scary good. They're red hot. Hot. I've listed the next three series that they play above. Uh, gonna be hard to see the Diamondbacks keep losing, but we gotta root against them. They've been red, red hot. Fish grease, hotter than fish grease. It's unbelievable. Uh, right behind them is the Atlanta Braves. They're 63 and 56. The Braves have been playing a lot better of late, although they've been playing some very weak opponents. Matt Olson has picked up the shift a lot, batting 286 and has five home runs in his last two weeks. Uh, Austin Riley also doing really well, 291 with four home runs in the last two weeks. And obviously, Chris Sale's been the very staple of their pitching uh, in his last couple of starts. He's spotting a 2.08 ERA. So the Braves kind of seem like they've found it out a little bit, although they have been playing some very uncompetitive teams um, they're spotting a 63 and 56 record again I've also listed who they're playing in the next three series uh, right behind them are the New York Mets the Mets are hitting a major skid they've lost four straight JD Martinez has been absolutely miserable he had been the staple of why the Mets were kind of had that hot streak before he's batting 182 lately he's been really really bad Pete Alonso also really terrible their best hitter is Jeff McNeil in the last two weeks he's batting 297 and their best pitcher by far has been Sean Manaya with the 2.70 ERA in the last two weeks that the Mets have really faltered. The Mets are 61 and 58. Right behind them are the Cardinals, who are just as bad. They've lost three straight. The Cardinals right now 60 and 60 now, only 500 baseball. Tommy Pham has been one of their better hitters. He's batting 268 in the last two weeks. Nolan Arenado, by far their best hitter, batting 347 uh, with only one home run, though, and eight RBIs. Uh, Sonny Gray's been the staple behind them. The Giants are kind of catching up. They just kind of leapfrogged the Cardinals with 61 losses and 61. However, those are the main culprits right now. I've also I've listed who they're playing in the next series, the next couple of series. But we got to keep rooting on our boys. Hope we keep beating all these teams we're supposed to win. We have a really big cushion right now. We have a five-game cushion on that four spot against the Mets. So let's hope we keep playing competitive baseball. Let's sweep the buck the Bucks today and look forward to the next series in Colorado. Stay beautiful. Stay vibrant. Go Padres, baby.